so this video is going to be what I read in 2023. I read 23 books in 2023, which is such a good number and I liked it. I've just gotten back into reading, so the books that I read might not be that many. I also wrote like my review about it, not review, like my rating about it. This is the first book. This is called The Summer Seaside Kitchen by Jenny Colgan. I bought this at like a huge book bazaar event type of thing and it's called Big Bed Wolf. They usually do it annual. I think I bought this back in 2019 and then the pandemic hits and then they just start doing it again on 2022. The story itself, it's very typical small town romance type of stuff which I like but I don't know, it just doesn't really left a woe factor for me so I give this book a 3 out of 5. Second book also bought at Big Bed Wolf. Oh, by the way, this is called As Old As Time, A Twisted Tale. It's so floppy and I love this type of books. I literally bought this because of the cover. It looks cool. So um, I give this a 3 out of 5. The third book, this is called Saha Mansion by To Namzu. I bought this because of the cover again. This is actually about different classes in society. So this is kind of like a social criticism. That's not what I was expecting this book to be. So I was kind of let down by my own expectation. I realized that this type of story, it's not my cup of tea. I'm sorry, but I give this a 2 out of 5. These four are the trilogy. It's by Ilana Tan. Even though they're kind of like a series, they don't really have the same plot lines. How to best describe it is that they are in the same universe and also they have different characters but each characters usually have connections to other characters in the other books. So the first book that I read is called Spring in London. Look at the cover, it's so pretty. Oh, the bookmark just fell. The first book that got me into this series and I gave this a 4 out of 5. And then moving on to Summer in Seoul. This was first published in 2006. The trope in this is fake dating trope. And the male main character is an idol. <laughs> Which is like, this book is fitting into a lot of fangirls. The Lulu, 5 out of 5. And then Out of In Paris, this... This one is for all of those angsty enjoyer. It has like that one scene, I guess, or that one plot line in it that will make you speechless. And I gave it a 4 out of 5. The last of the series that I have is Winter in Tokyo. They actually already made a movie about this book, um, but I haven't watched that yet. So I gave this a 4 out of 5. Alright, moving on to another books that are kind of like a series. I believe they're a trilogy, but I only have two books. So these books are by Holly Martin. And the first book is called The Holiday Cottage by the Sea. And the second book is called The Cottage on Sunshine Beach. I bought them also from Big Bed Wolf. So for the first book, I loved this book basically this is kind of like a small town romance this has like a little bit of rom-com i feel like it is a little spicy though i love the characters i give this a five out of five moving on to the second book well this was such a letdown for me i didn't click with the characters and also there were too many spies in this book I feel like those are very unnecessary. I give it a 2 out of 5. Not my favorite book. Talking about not my favorite book, this book is my favorite. This is called Life's a Beach by Portia McIntosh. I also bought this from Big Bed Wolf. It's kind of like the perfect summary book. It's so good. I gave it a 5 out of 5. Okay, so this book, I'm sure everyone already know. This is called the Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I think when I bought this, the TV show was airing and people were hyping it up. I really want to know the story. I really don't want to know the hype. And so I went to the bookstore and then I bought this and I did not get the hype. I gave this a 3 out of 5. 
The next book is Looking for Alaska by John Green. I bought this a long time ago. Even the pages are really yellowing. I have three books by John Green and two of them are in this stack. He wrote such a coming of age type of story, including with this one. I need a little bit of closure with the ending, so I give this book a 4 out of 5. Another book by John Green. This is called An Abundance of Catherines. In this book, we got to see a lot of like this diagram, like this one. Graph. It's not a diagram, it's a graph. I'm sorry. I give this book a 2.5 out of 5. Moving on to our prettiest book, which is Bliss by Catherine Littlewood. I used to wrote dates on the time whenever I bought my books. So for this book, I bought it on the 1st of March 2013. See? Even the pages are already yellowy. <laughs> I bought this because it looks so cool. See, it, it has like the optical illusion kind of like you know and also it has a blue sprayed edges with glitters but obviously because it's been a decade the glitter and the color it kind of faded so i give this a four out of five and now we're moving on to so far my favorite trilogy of all time by holy jackson i think the middle of this year i discovered book talk and booktube i saw a lot of people we're talking about this trilogy. I'm so glad I followed the recommendation. The first book is called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know or maybe just heard about this book. It's so good. This is a YA mystery thriller type of book. Since I'm not a native English speaker, reading a YA book makes me happy because it's easy to follow. Five out of five. Second book in the trilogy is called Good Girl, Bad Blood. I think I saw someone saying that their favorite is the second one. My favorite is also the second one because it's the perfect amount of mystery, thriller, and darkness. 5 out of 5. The last and final book of the trilogy is called As Good As Dead and look at the cover. It's so dark. I couldn't describe it because if I describe it, it would be spoiling it. What I predicted was not as insane as what actually happened in the book. I thought the plot is going this way, but then I was wrong and the plot was going that way. I give this a 4 out of 5 because of that. Moving on, Convenience Store Women by Sayaka Murata. I was at the bookstore and then I saw this and I was like, ooh, I really wanted to read that because I've been seeing it all over the internet. So I bought it and I disliked it. Look at the blurb. They only give you this much and I thought this would be like a fun, cozy, comforting book about like a girl who has a job in this convenience store but i was so wrong turned out this book is a social criticism to the society it's not my cup of tea and also there's a character in this book that i disliked so bad so i give this a 1.5 out of 5 i'm really sorry but I did not have fun reading this. Moving on to a book by Agatha Christie. This is called Marple. And this is actually a compilation of 12 stories about Miss Marple as the main character. And this is my first ever Agatha Christie book because I've been wanting to read her books, but she has so many books and I don't know where to start. Hi, so I'm sorry I took a little break because my camera ran out of battery. Now it's 4 p.m. and it just got dark suddenly, so I turned on my light. But anyway, the reason why I picked this up because it says on the blurb, literally right here, is that this book exists to introduce the character Miss Marple to the newer generation of Agatha Christie's readers. This is the translation version though. It was pretty great and so I give this book 4 out of 5. Moving on to my next book, this is The Architecture of Love by Ika Natasa. Look at the bookmark. It's so cool. This is like a 
like a card i guess a metro card or something the story takes place in new york city this was first published back in 2016 and the reason why i just got this this year is because they are going to turn this book into a movie and the male main character is my number one favorite actor I wanted to watch the movie but I wanted to know the story first that's why I bought the book maybe I'm a little biased because my favorite actor is going to star in the movie but besides that this is a good story so I give it a 5 out of 5 another Agatha Christie book this is my first full story book from her this is called The Mystery of the Blue Train this book the main character is Hercule Pirate this book was first published in 1928 like I'm not even joking like there like it's so crazy to think about that I give this book a 3.5 out of 5 next book this is called Takatakiru Rumahane by Uketsu this is a translated book from Japanese this was so good I love this book so much this is one of my favorites too it's so easy to read it's such a page turner book 5 out of 5 one of my best read in 2023 and the last book Oh my gosh, finally! This is also a translation from Japanese book by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. This is called Funikuli Funikula. I think that's how we pronounce it. If you are familiar with the Before the Coffee Gets Gold series, this is the Indonesian translation of it. And look at the cover. It's so pretty. This is a time travel magical realism book. Or genre I guess I think this is the first time that I read something like this so those are the books that I've read in 2023 I read 23 books in 2023 and I'm so happy about it because I finally found my love for reading books again bye thank you so much for watching yay okay bye